On a cold and snowy Saturday in January, Westminster High School's CTE teacher Robert Ferguson and his Project Lead the Way Aerospace Engineering class gathered to launch 16 student-designed experiments into the stratosphere. Using the expertise of the Edge of Space Sciences group of volunteers, the students readied their Arduino experiments. So as soon as you power up your unit, you get it in there and you get it all sealed up, you're going to put the string through the middle of your guy and we'll tie it up to the weather balloon and then once everybody's good, we'll let it go. With the dozen scientific payloads secure and everyone in position, the hydrogen-filled weather balloon was brought out, carefully connected to the line, and the countdown was on. Three, two, one. The balloon was able to reach a height of nearly 90,000 feet before it finally ruptured, sending the students' delicate experiments hurtling back to Earth. Safely back at school, the students open their payload boxes to get a first look at the Arduino experiments that they designed and built during remote learning. We plotted the GPS points on Google Maps, and this is like three of them, but all of ours like died in the middle when it got above 40,000 feet in the air because it got like too cold. So after negative 35 degrees, um, it, they don't work very well. With their data analyzed, the students participated in a video call with their NASA sponsor, Vidal Salazar. I'm a project specialist with NASA and I work for the Earth Science Project Office. So this is your, um, you know, your whole data set that I compare that to uh, the Denver sounding. I can tell that you, you know, you launch early in the morning and the balloon, you know, came out later in the day. As a final thank you, Mr. Ferguson gave each student who participated a framed $1 bill that has reached the edge of space at an altitude of 89,821 feet. And that's a gift that is truly out of this world. For Wolf TV, I'm Chris Williams.